Welcome to This Month with Mark Taylor. In February 2014, Mark jointly announced a solution to flood control in Britannia with Minister Shirelli, celebrated winter at carnivals throughout the community, attended the grand reopening of a local Tim Hortons, hosted an open house for QTN residents about returning bus service, hosted an open house for Crystal Beach Lakeview residents about plans for the old St. Thomas school site, helped launch Kindness Week in Akora Village, knocked on doors in Michelle Heights, encouraged residents to sign up and be a donor, hosted an open house for residents across the ward about upgrades to Britannia Park, and attended Acorn's annual reception. Today we're announcing you know, funding that will lead to better flood control protection uh, for neighbors of the Britannia Village in Belltown, which is going to lead to not just enhanced safety, but also more flexible property options. Councillor Taylor welcomed Minister Shirelli to Britannia Village for a joint city-province funding announcement. And with the help of the province and resident working group, the project will be completed in 2014. This project, depending upon who you speak to, has been uh, on again and off again for 20 to 30 years, uh, but we're really in the home stretch right now. And, uh, and that's thanks uh, completely to the residents who have worked on this project with us. Mark always enjoys getting out and meeting Bay Ward residents, and what better way to do that than at a local winter carnival? Residents, both young and old, were able to roast marshmallows, take a horse-drawn sleigh ride, and of course, skate on their local outdoor rink. He attended carnivals in a number of communities and thanked the many volunteers for their continued hard work and commitment to their neighborhoods. After extensive renovations, Councillor Taylor was pleased to attend the reopening of the local Tim Hortons on Carling Avenue. He congratulated owner Muhammad Abu Qasim and wished him continued success. With the Carling Avenue Community Improvement Plan in place, we will soon see other enhancements in the area. Residents of Queensway Terrace North were welcomed at an open house where Mark presented an OC Transpo plan to bring bus service back through the neighborhood. Though the service was cancelled due to low ridership in 2011, it was important for those older adults and young families that used it. Residents were able to provide feedback by making suggestions, asking questions, and filling out an online survey. We will be able to announce the community's decision over the next few weeks. Over in Crystal Beach, Mark invited residents to a community meeting where city staff unveiled plans for the development of the old St. Thomas School site, and this gave residents the opportunity to speak with the city planners and developer directly. Councillor Taylor joined Mayor Watson, Dan Greenberg, Rabbi Bulka, and many others along with residents at the Acora Center to kick off Kindness Week. My job here is to uh, welcome you to our ward, but also to remind you to be kind and especially the kids who are here, we can learn some of the best lessons as adults from watching you guys. Neither ice nor snow could deter Mark and his team when they were out knocking on doors again this past month. They were happy to speak with many residents in the neighborhood of Michelle Heights. The election is on October 27th, and Mark is hard at work talking to residents about what we've accomplished and what we hope to do together. Over 100 residents came out to the Ron Colbus Lakeside Center to see plans for the renewal of Britannia Park. Residents were given the opportunity to provide feedback and look at drawings on the many outdoor enhancements, and we are forming a working group to develop a park master plan. Councillor Taylor attended the annual ACORN reception, where he accepted an appreciation certificate for the work he and others at the city have done and continue to do to assist tenants and give residents better peace of mind at home. For more information, visit gotaylor.ca. Thanks for watching February in Bayward. Consider getting involved by volunteering your time or donating to re-elect Mark Taylor. We need the participation and the collaboration of residents who sometimes hold the separate opinions uh, in a community. And that's the only way that's the secret sauce that gets things done.